Where are they willing us to check the price? Okay, because of the major copy, you do it. Where the item chase? Mm-hmm. And let like this support.
Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start in a couple of seconds. I know some of you are moving. Some others are already at home. But let's see. Who do we have here? Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá. Uh, here we have some of the participants uh, ready to start class number six, right? La, la clase número seis, we're starting unit number two. So, welcome back. Here we have um, Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you tonight? I'm terrific. Perfect. I like to hear that. Uh, good answer. What about Guillermo? Good evening, Guillermo. And Guillermo, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, tired, teacher. Well, I know it's uh, it's Tuesday. You work uh, from Monday to Friday? From Monday to Saturday. Oh, okay. So on Saturday, what time do you finish your job? Uh, 2.30 p.m. Okay, yeah. Well, I know it's kind of complicated. It is not that easy, right? Well, no. Uh, well, so, well, it, let's try to have energy for tonight's class, okay? Thank you, my friend, for answering. Here we have also Daniel. Good evening, Daniel. How are you doing tonight? I'm very fine. Ah, very fine. Okay, that's good. I like to hear that. What about Jose, Andres? How are you tonight, my friend? Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Um, some tired, teacher. Yes. Just relaxing right now in the class. Okay. Yes, I know. I don't know why I consider that this week is kind of complicated from Monday, from yesterday, right? Yeah, I guess we're having a, a difficult week. Thank you, Jose Andres. Here we have also Doris. Good evening, Doris. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Awesome. Yeah, I like to hear that. Perfect. And Gustavo, good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Perfect, teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you for answering, my friends. Here we have also Marvin, right, Marvin? Hello. Uh, we can hear you, Marvin. No te puedo escuchar. I don't know if you can check the microphone. Tal vez puede revisar el micrófono. Yes. Oh, yes. yes, now, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay. good evening, How teacher. You? How are you? Good. I'm Excellent. fine. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, thank you. It's good to have you okay. here. Bueno, tenerte por acá. Thank you, Marvin. Rosalí, hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. And I did not go to work. Oh, really? My son is sick. Well, I hope he can improve, can get better. Espero que mejore. I know it's kind of difficult when our kids get like sick. I know. Thank you, Tuesday. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, my friends. Well, uh, let me show you this. We have uh, the class number. Class number six, uh, demonstrative pronouns, okay? So good evening to the rest of participants that we have here connected uh, right now. Demonstrative pronouns, we're going to study them and I guess you're going to learn them very quickly, okay? So no problem with this. We go with the first question. And this is not a speaking activity, just a very simple question, and we have two options. What would you prefer? ¿Qué preferirías? Living forever or going back to time? I don't know if you have seen the movie Back to the Future. Well, similar like that, okay? So, what would you prefer? ¿Qué preferiría? 
escribir por siempre o regresar en el tiempo. What about Oscar? You tell me, my friend. What would you prefer? Uh, well, I I remember who says uh, a singer who wants to live forever, and ah. I maybe I I gone back to the time. <laughs> okay, nice. I guess Freddie Mercury was wow, was that singer, right? Yes. Yeah, right. A, a really good song. Yeah, like yes. it. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, what about Guillermo? Living forever or going back to time? Mm. I prefer to going back to time. Oh, nice. Maybe you have a specific period of time. Well, maybe. Could it be? Imagine doing things correctly. Okay. Yes. At least in one situation or two. Why not? Thank you, Guillermo. Hasta se ríe. To smile. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, what about uh, Daniel and then Doris? I think um, I would like to go back to time. Oh, okay. Go back to time. Thank you. Doris and Rosalie. I prefer going back to time. Really? What happened? Okay, nice. Going back to time. Rosalie and Maritza. I would prefer um, going back to time. Really? Going to... back to time. Okay, I'm going to check the people who want to, uh, well, to, who want to go back to time. Okay, Maritza, what about you? And then Gustavo. I would prefer going back to time. Going back to time. Nice. Good, good. Uh, okay, what about Gustavo and Marvin? Uh, in my opinion, uh, I live in forever. Living forever, okay. <clears throat> A different point of view, living forever. Nice. Uh, what about Marvin? And then we go with David. With David. Uh, I prefer going to back to time. Okay. Ba going back to time. Thank you. Okay, David, and we go with Rivas. Hi, teacher. Uh, I would like to go back in time. <laughs> okay, another person. Okay. Maybe we can build the time machine. Thank you, David. Uh, Rivas, if you're there, and then Good Susie. Evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I prefer living forever. Oh, wow. Living forever. Another person. I guess we have like three people living forever. Thank you. Um, Susie, if you're there, and then Teresa. Good evening, teacher. It okay. depends. I would like to go back in time, but to some specific moments. Okay. And, and living forever will be interesting. Okay. Yeah, living forever could be like very nice, interesting. You can see a lot of things. Even you can write a book about what you can see. Okay. Or uh, record videos. Thank you. Uh, Teresa and then Claudia. Hi, teacher. I Hi. think that I, I will prefer living forever. Living forever? Another person? Well, it's increasing. The quantity of people living forever. Thank you. Uh, Claudia, are you there? I don't know if Claudia is there. Uh, Adi, because he's a listener. So, imagine. Going back to time for one day, for one week, one month one year could be really nice. I guess you have a specific year. Creo que ustedes ya tienen un año específico en el cual ustedes les gustaría regresar. I know. Yeah. Well, in my case, yeah, I would like to go back to time. Okay. Um, we're going to check uh, some vocabulary because I need to check the attendance list. So, uh, here we have um, ways to say además, formas para decir además. Um, it is very common that we say this word. And. Cuando decimos and, estamos diciendo y. Okay. We say y. Uh, it's another form to say además, ¿verdad? And, for example, I like chicken and pizza. I like coffee and soda. I like tone. But we can use some other phrases or, or words 
in case you want to say it in different ways. Also, very important. Also significa también. Pero funciona como un además o funciona como un I. I prefer pupusas. Also um, empanadas. Ok. Y también pueden decir and also empanadas. It, uh, it's acceptable. Besides, otra manera de decir además. Besides. Moreover, it's a kind of formal. Eso ya es formal. Moreover, además. In addition. Es como decir además. In addition. For example, you can talk about problems in El Salvador. In El Salvador, we have different type, types of problems. For example, we have uh, pollution, traffic jam. Uh, in addition, we have crime. Okay? Así que como que además tenemos esto. Additionally, es similar como in addition, solo que este ya es un adverbio, but of course, además. Furthermore, furthermore es muy formal. It's very formal, this word, furthermore. As well as, I like this. As well as, this is one of my favorite words. And we also have along with. Maybe the one that is kind of complicated or tricky is the number two. Well, number one, also. Number two, besides. Es importante pronunciar la S. Porque besides significa a la par. ¿Verdad? Pero besides con S significa además. Moreover, um, in addition, additionally, furthermore, as well as along with. Okay? I'm going to check this and please um, say hi, hello, good evening, present. And after that, you can say one of these phrases. Okay? <clears throat> We're going to check, uh, we're going to start Adi. I know Adi is like listener, right? So um, we go with Ana Cristina. I don't know if Ana Cristina is here. Uh, okay, thank you, Susie. Thank you for, for, for staying. Okay, uh, what about Elias? I don't know if Elias is here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Elias. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hi, Elias. Can you mention one of these phrases? Uh, besides. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Rivas. Hi there. Present teacher. Also. Also. Thank you. Uh, what about Claudia? Claudia, are you there? Okay. Uh, Daniel, hi. Present teacher, uh, long white. Okay, along with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good option. David, hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, present, my phrase, mm -hmm. phrase, phrase is as well as. Okay, as well as. Thank you. Doris? In addiction. Thank you. Evelyn, I guess it's not here, right? Graciela, either. Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Present teacher. Uh, moreover. Good one. Jose, hi. Hi, teacher. Um, how can I pronounce furthermore? Furthermore. In lo, instead of you, you can you have to pronounce O. For there more. Mm -hmm. For okay. there more. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, John. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I choose also. Good one. Uh, Katia, maybe Katia not here. Okay. Um, Maritza. Present. Hi, Melissa. Along uh, with. Along with. Very nice. Marvin, hi. Okay, Marvin. Well, I guess he, he has some difficulty. No te escuchamos, eh, Marvin. Otra vez. Creo que tenemos dificultades con el audio. Este, perdón, dos audífonos me están fallando. 
Okay, and, yes. And... I guess that that's a problem. Uh -huh. eh, sería moreover. Thank you. Eh, Noe, I guess Noe is not here. Okay, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Hello. In, in addition. Very nice. Oscar. Present besides. Thank you. Rosalie. Present teacher as well as. Thank you. Susie. Um, Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Very nice. Um, Teresa. Hi, teacher. Hi. In, along with. Along with. Okay. Thank you. So these are some other forms to, to say además. Recuerden, as I told you before, if you want to learn one or two, that's perfect. Because to learn all of them is kind of difficult. But you, what, what it matters is that you start applying or using at least one of these. Con, con una que, que usen. Yeah. We are... Uh, we are advancing. Okay. Yesterday, we were talking about present continuous, right? And also uh, past continuous. Estuvimos hablando sobre eso, ¿verdad? El present continuous es este. I am playing. You are playing. She's playing. Okay. In the past, uh, we had the other one. The, en lugar del is, en lugar del am, se dice was. Y en lugar del are, se dice were. Okay. So, uh, these are the affirmative form, the positive way, but now we're going to use the negative. Okay. You can say wasn't or was not because it's a contraction. Or you can say were, were not. You can contract. Pueden contra, contra, por ejemplo, aquí, weren't. Yeah, it is possible. So let's take a look at these phrases. Remember, you have to use was, were, not, and the verb in parentheses. Esta era la firma, the affirmative. Vamos a ver las negativas. Es la misma. It's the same sentence in affirmative, but we're going to change into the negative. Eran las mismas oraciones, ¿verdad? Las que teníamos ayer. Pero ahora las vamos a usar en negative. Okay? Negative form. I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos. So you can have an idea what to answer to participate. Okay, my friends, uh, who wants to participate? Let's start with this. Not complicated at all. Um, vamos a ver con quién comenzamos entonces. Uh, Guillermo, please. Uh, what number? Number one. She was not playing hockey. Good one. She was not playing hockey, yeah. That's it. Maybe we have to. David. Number two. Number two. They were. They were. No. Number three. Uh, sorry. Number three. No, me me confundí, teacher. Number two is. Sí, number two. They were. They were. Sw swimming. Swimming. Okay. In the pool. It's negative. They were. Ah, not. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, they were not swimming. Thank you. Very nice uh, answer. Thank you. What about Elias and Teresa? Okay, Elias. It was not raining. Yeah. Number three. It was not raining. Uh, what about Teresa? Teacher, can I resolve the number 10? Yeah. yeah. The one that you prefer. Okay. He? he wasn't repeating Gary's bike. Very nice. He wasn't repairing. Of course it is. Thank you. Okay, now let's move with some other. What about Maritza? And then we go with Oscar. Number four. We were not listening to music. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Oscar, and then we go with Gustavo. Number five, the mobile wasn't ringing. Yes, definitely no problem, right, Oscar? Good. Okay, we go with Gustavo and uh, Rosalie. Number six. Uh, number six. Yeah. Uh, sería, the student were not to text, uh, text me. Texting. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We go with Rosalie and then we go with Doris. Uh, number seven. Mm -hmm. And Max wasn't dance dancing Dan with to go dancing. dancing dancing yeah dancing okay we go with who Doris and Katia so the number the number nine the cat it wasn't asleep sleeping in the basket yeah that's correct wasn't sleeping in the basket. Thank you. Katia, hello. Hello, teacher. I wasn't waiting. I don't know. No, remember. Waiting. waiting, sorry. <laughs> in front of the shop. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Very nice, my friends. As you can see, it's not difficult. Uh, similar to affirmative, the only difference is that you have to um, add the word not okay that's it and the question is that uh, was and were um, go at the beginning okay well we continue with our main topic and our main topic is like this I don't know why maybe tienen algunos pendientes en el pasado okay this uh this is the the main topic okay i um imagine that you have seen these words these four words previously because in the conversations in lyrics of you know, music descriptions movies here have this that these those okay now we're going to check cuando tenemos uh, Estas. If you notice, the hand is closed. Si se fijan, la mano en esta que acabo de hacer el cuadro en rojo, lo voy a hacer doble para que no tengan duda. En este caso, la mano está cerca, cerca de la manzana. So, in this case, eh, podemos decir this, la primera palabra. Es singular, significa esto o esta, ¿ok? I'm going to change the number of this, the size, ¿ok? Significa esto o esta. So, I like this apple, ¿ok? I have this pen, ¿ok? Tengo este lapicero, I have this pen. It's singular, 
y está cerca. ¿Ok? Cerca y es singular. ¿Ves? Lo tengo en la mano. In this case, eh, en este caso está tocando la, la manzana. Let's go with number two. Here we have this. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia de eso en la pronunciación? Practically is the same. Es la misma. Teacher, pero ¿cómo vamos a diferenciar si se pronuncia en igual? Como lo han hecho con otras palabras. Vamos a enfocarnos en la cantidad. Look at this. Here we have apple. Ok. Apple. En cambio aquí tenemos apples. Apples con S. Entonces es plural. Aunque la pronunciación de pronunciation is similar. Almost the same. The quantity of the object is different. Ok. So, number one. I like this apple. I have this pen. The other, la otra sería, number two. I like these apples. You can, I can say, I have these pens. Tengo estos lapiceros. La diferencia es que eh, acá me refiero a plural, pero siempre los tengo en la mano. O cerca de la mano. O super cerca. ¿Ok? That's the point. This. Eh, singular. This plural. What is the difference? Here we don't have S. No tenemos la letra S. Here we have letter S. Tenemos la letra S. Okay. Let's go with the others. Vamos con las siguientes. That. If you notice, the hand is uh, far. It's separated from the apple. La mano está separada de la manzana. Está desde lejos pointing, señalando. Vamos a ver acá. Supongamos que están flotando, que está flotando este lapicero. No lo tengo en la mano, pero aquí estoy señalando. Entonces, cuando señalo desde lejos, digo that, that pen es el lapicero. In this case, is pointing, está señalando, sería esa manzana. Ese, esa. ¿Ok? Ese, esa. I like that apple. Me gusta esa manzana. ¿Ok? And here we have the plural. Tenemos el plural. If you notice, the same. The hand is far from the apples. Está lejos de la manzana. ¿Ok? So, in this case, sería esos. Aquí, si estoy señalando, digo that pen. Si tengo dos lapiceros, sería those pens y lo estoy señalando desde el ¿ok? Those, esos, esas, aquellos, aquellas, ¿ok? So practically that is the meaning of this. Here we have singular and here we have plural. If you want to refer to something that is close. Algo que está cerca. We use this. Something that is far. Algo que está lejos. Vamos a utilizar that. It does. Ok. Questions so far? Uh, this year. Yeah. This, these are demonstrative pronouns. Yes. Yeah. These are demonstrative pronouns. Mm -hmm. El tema de la clase. Yeah. Demonstrative pronouns. So you are demonstrating what objects you are talking about. Yeah. What things are you talking about? So that's why. Especially when you go to buy something, cuando van a comprar algo, you say, mm, that, I like that, I like those. What's the price of that, uh, that shirt, that blouse? What about those sandals? Okay. So, um, Vamos a hacer, we're going to make some sentences in the chat. We're going to text utilizando esto, ¿ok? Um, necesito que me elijan cualquiera de estos, ¿ok? Um, vamos a trabajar, vamos a trabajar en esto. 
vamos a trabajar específicamente I'm going to cover this cubrimos esto we're going to use this porque este es el que nos confunde ok entonces vamos a utilizar this y también vamos a utilizar estos dos entonces hagamos esto look at this this tomato no this Vamos a ver algo fácil. This book. This books. Ok. The pronunciation is quite similar, almost the same. I need you to select something that is in singular and plural using like that. Please. Do it. Whatever object you can talk about, classroom object, you can talk about things at home. Uh, you can say television, cat, dog, uh, cars. You can talk about hammer. Okay. Recuerden hacer los dos: un singular y otro plural, utilizando this and this. I'm going to give you uh, time. If you want to make sentences, of course. You are afraid to do it. Son libres de hacerlo. Si quieren hacer oraciones, please. Okay. Okay, let's listen to some of your exercises. Let me check something. Doris, te haría falta. Ah, ya está la otra. Daniel también te haría falta el plural, Daniel, porque solo escribiste night. Okay. And we go with Oscar. You start and then we go with Elias. Okay, Oscar. Could you read your sentences, please? Okay. Like this man and like these people. These people. Thank you. Okay. Elias and then we go with Doris. This shirt is mine. These shirts are mine. Okay. These shirts. Yeah, it is the same. No problem. Thank you. And what about Doris and Guillermo? This pen, this pen, pens. Thank you. Guillermo and Rosalie. Okay. This pencil and these pencils. Thank you. Rosalie and John. I need this dress. I need these dresses. Okay. That's a big difference. Good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. John and Rivas. This tomato, uh, these tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So que sería tomato, verdad? Tomato es. Yes, this tomato. But the 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 example is good. Okay, we go with uh, Rivas and David. This computer, these computers. Mm -hmm. Sería la misma. This computer, these computers. La S al final es la clave. Okay, pero siempre this, this, ambos. Thank you, uh, David and Marvin. Uh, I have this notebook. I have these boxes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And we go with Marvin and Daniel. I like this jacket. I like this, this 
flowers. Okay, good. Thank you. We go with Daniel and Maritza. This night, these days. Yeah, nice. And we go with Maritza and Susie. This car is red. And these cars are red. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Susie and Katia. This my computer. This computer is black. Okay. La primera está bien. This my computer. Or this is my computer. Pero la segunda tiene que ser plural. These computers. Uh, these computers are yes. black. Are black. That's correct. Thank you. Katia and Gustavo. Okay. This window is clear. These windows are clear. Perfect. And Gustavo. Okay. I need this chair. I like the, this shoes. Okay. Good, good. So if you notice, it is not so complicated if you see it like uh, singular and plural. So remember something that we have close, algo que tenemos cerca. This, this, okay? Nice. Now, let's see. We're going to use I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay. Again, we're going to do the same, but now we're going to use that and we're going to use those. Okay. You can uh, type the same example if you want, but we're going to use that and those. Okay. For example, that apple, those apples. Okay. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and then we continue. Okay, let's listen to some of your um, sentences. Now I can see that you are writing sentences. Uh, that's perfect. And let's start with uh, Daniel and then Guillermo, please. That's tables. Table. Mm -hmm. Those tables. Uh -huh. Those. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Those. Yeah, that's perfect. Guillermo and John. That car. Those cars. Perfect. John and the David. John, are you okay? Uh, you will be you will be fine, sorry. You will be fine and uh, that beautiful woman. Those yep. beautiful women. Yeah, that it will be fine. Yeah. Those beautiful women. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Thank you. Uh, David and Rosalie. Okay. Uh, I have that desk. I have those, those balls. Thank you. Rosalie and Oscar. I don't see that label. I don't see those label. labels. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Labels. Yeah, very nice. Oscar and Doris. 
I like that house and I want to eat those apples. Mm -hmm. Apples, very nice. Doris and Marvin. The lamp and those lamps. Thank you. Uh, Marvin and Rivas. Uh, that car, those planes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Rivas and Elias. That Teddy does Teddy's. Mm -hmm. Those. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Elias and Maritza. That house is new. Those mm -hmm. houses are new. Thank you. Maritza and Gustavo. That house is pretty. Those houses are pretty. That's nice. Gustavo and Katia. I need that band. I like those cards. Okay, thank you. Katia, please. Okay, that is his book. Those are his book. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, we're going to continue with some exercises related to demonstrative uh, pronouns later. Here we have this. Uh, here we have different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Then write down the steps in order. Okay, here we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Los pasos. Credit card information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Check the price. And confirm the method of payment. Log it into login to your account. Okay. So remember, credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Log in to your account. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can think about what the, the correct order. Okay? ¿Cuál es el orden correcto de los pasos? Para hacer una compra en línea. I know that there are some steps that we already know, but there are some other steps that are maybe different. I was checking, estuve revisando y pues me, me doy cuenta que algunos pasos son como un poco diferentes según lo que yo estaba viendo acá. But let's do it the way you consider you do it. Vamos a hacer la manera que ustedes consideran que lo han hecho. If you have a purchase online, of course, if you have experience with this, okay, we're going to do it. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can have an idea. And then we're going to order the steps. Okay, maybe uh, here we have some volunteers. If you consider, because I have one order 
that is uh, provided by the book. Tengo un orden que, que lo brinda el libro, el manual. But maybe we can have some other ideas. And remember that the order of, of some purchasing depends on the web page. A veces depende de, 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 de la página, ¿verdad? De, de sitio web, the website, okay? So any volunteer to say number one, number two, three, four. Okay, Guillermo, tell me, my friend, what do you think? Mm, the first step for me is go to the only online web page. Okay, good. Okay, so that's uh, the first one. Yeah, you can't do anything if you have this, like, uh, if you have not visited the web page, okay? Thank you. Very nice. Do we have some other? If not, Guillermo, you can tell me some other if you prefer, and then we go with some, some other participants. Mm -hmm. You can tell me one or two. Okay. The the second step for me is to log in your account. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you, my friend. Okay, let's listen to some other. Maybe we can have a uh, Jose. You have an idea, Jose? Maybe number three, number uh, four? Maybe. Write your bill, billing address, maybe. It could be. Or confirm your information and submit. Okay, confirm your information and submit. That could be later, maybe. Okay, write your billing address. Okay, let's try to do it. Okay, what about John? Uh, then, then, with, then it could be um, there, sorry, or tier. I think uh, check the price. Oh, check the price. Okay. Let's see. Check the price of the things, right? Okay, Katia. Thank you, John. Confirm your information and submit. Confirm your information and submit. Okay, do you consider that it is this? What about Maritza? Next. Maritza, an idea, we have credit cards information, select the item to purchase, confirm the method of payment. Mm. Confirm the method of payment. Okay, but maybe, antes también tenemos select the item. Mm -hmm. Could it be like this, right? Sí, select the item. Vamos a comprar a ciegas, tisha. Porque si no, no vaya a ser como las compras en, en Marketplace, que a veces no le dan otras cosas. Ok, and then maybe we can have... David, what do you consider? Credit cards information or confirm the method of payment? Uh, confirm the, met the method of payment. Mm, maybe later. Vaya, el método de pago, vaya, método de pago podría ser, if you want.
Okay. Maybe I consider that the only change could it be this. Number five, here, could it be? Confirm your information and submit. Tal vez confirmar la información en general y luego enviar, right? Because uh, if you notice, if you have bought in AliExpress, Alibaba, Amazon, which other do we have? Uh, I guess we have eBay and some other. You go to the, the, the online webpage, log into your account, and write your billing address, check the price, select the item, confirm it, and then you confirm the complete information, yeah? Could it be? Could it be? But uh, maybe we can change this into here, but then we are okay. I guess we have bought uh, some things. Uh, please try raise your hand, levanten el emoji, quien ha comprado en línea. Talking about, uh, pero en línea, okay, thank you. Vamos a ver. John me dice por acá, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel, John, Oscar, yes, Doris, good, Teresa, Guillermo, nice. Okay, now, eh, como tenemos dos emojis, tenemos este, that is thumb up positive, and here we have some others, right? Here we have the other that is negative. It is like this. Raise your thumb up. Ustedes me ponen si fue positivo la compra. Buena experiencia, good experience. Yes. If was, si fue negativa. Yes. Creo, teacher, creo, yep. que tengo problemas con, creo que tengo problemas con la plataforma. No sé si soy ah. yo. Dime. Eh, se ha quedado tildada. O sea, veo las fotos de todos, pero absolutamente nada de lo que está eh, facilitando. Ahora, ¿Y ahora? ¿Ahora sí? Yes. Thank you. Oh, sí, ok. No, es que, es que me había salido de ahí, quizás. Ajá, me había salido de la, de la, de la imagen. Pero bueno. Well, all of you have had good experiences. Todos han tenido buena experiencia. Really? No bad experience. Ok. Good for you. So it means, no hablamos de marketplace en Facebook, ¿verdad? Porque esa ya es otro, ese es otro, another thing. So, okay. Sorry, sorry, but reboot because I have a problem. Sorry. Okay, it's okay, uh, John. Go ahead, my friend. Well, now here we have this. Look. Circle the correct answer. Here we have four sentences, and in each sentence we have two options. You have to select the words in bold, okay? Those, that, those, that, these, this, 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 okay? I'm going to give you time. Take a look at this, una leída, and then we can come back to participate and to correct these sentences.
Okay, so, uh, let's check these um, sentences. Some volunteers for this. Uh, Guillermo, please. What number? Number one. Okay. It's necessary to follow those steps to purchase that someone needs. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Marvin, go ahead. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. I think that I want to buy that bit this. Yeah, that's that that correct. Mm -hmm. Like pointing. Como señalando, that big desk. I like it. Good. Uh, Daniel, please. The number three is huh? do you want to buy this refrigerator? Yes. It comes in, in four different colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. This refrigerator, singular. Okay. Rosalie, vamos a ver acá. Para diferenciar esta, vamos con la primera, sería one or two. Y después vamos a la siguiente, one or two. Okay, porque como se parecen, this, 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 this. Okay, Rosalie. Okay. I'm going to buy a one. Yeah, this. Two tables with. One with or two. Second. Yeah. Two. Perfect, Rosalie. Thank you. Yeah, I want to buy these two tablets with this credit card. Sounds really equal, like same, but uh, as I told you before, the S in the object, are, it's very important. Luego le voy a mostrar algunos sustantivos, some uh, irregular, some irregular mm, nouns, okay? So we're going to have, let me check this, what do we have here? Okay. Um, we're going to work in couples. Let me check this. Okay. This, we're going to have uh, groups in, well, we're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en equipos, en pares. Esta se le llama all word out. ¿Qué significa eso? You have to look for the all word out. Quiere decir que va a encontrar la palabra, the word that it is different from that category. For example, I'm going to look for. Okay. Um, I'm going to look for this. Number nine. Para que no vean que hago la, la número uno, ¿verdad? Que los profes de matemáticas normalmente hacen el ejercicio uno. I'm going to check this. Number nine. Okay. Here we have. Breakfast, water, juice, milk. Breakfast, water, juice, milk. Tell me what word is different from those four words. That's a category. But there is one word that is different. Breakfast, yes. water, juice, milk. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it means that that word is the odd word out. Esa es la palabra rara. Esa es la palabra extraña. Odd significa raro, extraño. Something that is not, uh, that something that doesn't belong to that category. So, breakfast, yeah, breakfast, but water, juice, milk, mm, it's kind of different. Así que me van a, I need you to have screenshot. Necesito que le, le eh, tenga una captura de pantalla, please. Screenshots, and we're going to work with two uh, images, con esas dos imágenes. Recuerden siempre quitarle mi rostro a la captura, no vaya a ser, ok. Uh, this is one, ok. Here we have from one to ten, tenemos del uno al diez, ok. So let's see, thank you Elias, and here we have the other Teacher, and we have to choose uh, just one. Yes, it depends. If you consider that you have two all the word out, select two. Depends on you, right? Depends on, on your perception. Mm -hmm. You try to I mean, identify. Uh, of the option because we have 10 options. Ah, no, I mean, 
you have seven options here and you have 10 options in the other. So complete the 17 uh, okay. exercise. Okay. So, okay. Let's see. Yes, my friend. Oh, thank you, Elias, again. So now that you have these uh, working pairs in. I'm sorry, I have some problem with this. Um, Selección and select the word in each of the images, in cada una de las imágenes, okay? So, let me check this. Okay, my friends. Pueden empezar las verdes de ya. If you want. Just give me a couple of seconds. Intento, I try that you can work with some other participants because sometimes um, it, you can work with the same. And the objective is that you can have some participations with some other participants, okay? My friends, see you in a moment. And Doris, um, Jose, Teresa, no problem. Hi, teacher. Eh, perdón, perdón, estoy teniendo unas cosas de trabajo. Sí, me oh, okay. Me conectado. Ok. Gracias, gracias, perdón. Bueno, ok, Carlos. Eh, José, nada. Vamos a ver acá.
Hello, Jose. Some difficulties with uh, the platform or your internet? Uh, maybe, maybe, teacher, with my internet or my PC, both, maybe. Because okay. uh, I was normal in the class, by right? And when you give us the invitation to go to the classroom, basically getting freeze and it's slow, so... I am connected here. Okay, let me check yeah. something. Okay. If not, what you can do? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to to send you to another group, okay? Okay.
Okay, let's start with this. Here we have um, these categories. What about number one? Well, image from one to seven. Well, maybe we can start with this. Image from one to 10. We already uh, talked that the other word is breakfast, okay? Maybe we can have the participations of Guillermo and David. Okay, Guillermo, select one of these um, numbers and let's identify uh, which one is the other word. Mm, the first one is cat. Thank you. David, thank you, Guillermo. Number okay. two uh, is seven. Thank you, Katia and then Maritza. Uh, cualquier. Yeah, what, whatever. From three to ten. Teacher, instead of mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, number three, wake. Thank you. Maritza and Marvin. Number four, school. Okay. Marvin and Oscar. Number five, pen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sunscreen, book, yes. notebook, pen. Do you consider? Because in the some words, mm -hmm. yeah, because they are talking um like in sunscreen protector solar, yeah, and the other ones are uh, classroom objects. Okay, thank you, uh, Oscar and Elias. Number C, bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elias. And we go with Doris. Number seven, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Again, sunscreen. Thank you. Uh, what about Doris? And also we have here John. Number 10 takes. Thank you. John, can you help us with number eight? Um, eight. Okay, here we have verbs. Number Look eight. at this. Do, go, eat. But here we have when. When is the past of go. So, do, go, and eat are three verbs in present. But when is the past of go. So, the old okay. word is when. And thank you. Okay. And let's continue with the other slide. And uh, what if we have Rosalie and then Susie? Please select and, one number. And number two? Yeah. Friend. Yes. And what about Susie and Teresa? Okay. Number one, boys. Yeah. Okay. The other verbs are in, are, well, verbs in third person. That's correct. Uh, Teresa and Gustavo. Perdón, teacher, es la palabra que no... Que no concuerda. Que no va a acorde, ¿verdad? Perdón, sí. Ok, te voy a dar tiempo. Uh, Gracias. Para que lo veas. Ok, Gustavo and Daniel. Uh, number five, two. Number five, okay, speak, do, girl, walk, hope. Uh, maybe girl, because they are, those are verbs. Estos son verbos. Okay, uh, what about Daniel and Rivas? And the number six, and this list, ten, skips, light, heels, and eat. Mm -hmm. Eat. Mm, no, because that's a verb. Es un verbo. Heels es colinas. Stand, skip, slide, eat son verbos. Heels es, sería acá. Okay. okay. Thank you. And what about Rivas? 
and Teresa. Okay. Number three. Sunshine. Mm, yeah. Because the others are verbs. Thank you. Teresa, four or seven? Four. Uh, parents. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And finally, here we have number seven. Ball, sweep, climb, pick, love. The old word is bold because the rest of the of the words are verbs. Okay, nice. Let's move to the speaking activity that uh, we have to complete. This is a question that I sent you in the morning. It is like this: Where do you see yourself when you are seven, 70 years old? Imagine you as seventy years old person. Okay, maybe retired, maybe working, spending time with family, traveling, and earning a lot of money. I don't know, working in another country, in another job, or maybe resting in peace. I don't know. Tell me what do you consider is your answer. Please, volunteers. And I'm going to check. Remember that all of you are going to participate because all of your opinions are important. Maybe we can start. Okay, John, very nice. And then Daniel, go, my friend. Okay, uh, where do I say myself when I'm 70? Um, I hope you are enjoy. Uh, my retirement and possibility finish and mm -hmm. paying that's... off my second home. Mm -hmm. And that is God gives my life. Okay, very nice. Um, good example. Just to, to mention, I hope I am. Because you said, I hope you are. Mm. Because you're talking about yourself, the... The correct form, I hope I am. Yeah, maybe spend time with family, retire. Okay, so that's it. Thank you, John. I guess uh, that's a good plan. What about Daniel and then Rosalie? Um, I have never answered that. Yeah, I have never asked myself. Uh -huh. uh, I have never asked that. Maybe a great grandfather. Ah, to be a grandfather, yeah, because 70 years old, it is very, yeah, it, 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 you have a lot of possibilities to be a grandfather. Thank you. Um, Rosalie and Teresa. Um, I see myself in retreat, calm, enjoying my grandchildren and traveling. Nice. Okay, look at this. Yes, it is a good plan. Retired. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah, spending time with the with the kids, yeah. your grandchildren. Uh, Teresa and then Elias. Um. Well, I would like to be retired, and I would like to have. Uh, forest or and um, photo studio. Nice, nice. If you notice, when you think of retirement, there are a lot of things to do because some people uh, may think, yeah, I'm not going to work anymore. I'm going to have free time, but there are no, a lot of things to I do. I would like to work because I think that I can be bored if, if I don't Really? So you want to continue yeah, working? Yeah, because nice? my life is active. It's very active. Come now, Teresa. I don't think so. I, I would to... like to rest, but I would like to work. Uh, continue working in a, <laughs> in a different level. Continue working uh -huh, in different yeah. level. Yeah. But always active. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah. Okay. Um. What about Elias? Okay. When I am 
20 years old. I am retired. Please go see my in my house to see how my children have already made their lives with my grandchildren without deaths or warriors. The ideal is a cute life. Yeah, a quiet, yes, quiet life. Okay. Yes, very good words. Remember that we currently and um, we are active, we have stress, we have pressure, traffic, pollution, a lot of things, death. So um, maybe we need some space when we are 70 years old. Maybe we're going to listen to more participations. What about Guillermo and Katia? Okay, Guillermo, tell me what do you think? What's your opinion about this? Okay. Um, I see myself uh, living in another country with my family. I already retired. Enjoying my life with my loved ones. Yeah. Enjoy, en enjoying your life with your loved ones. Okay. I guess it's very nice the way you say it. It's very important the way you say it. Thank you. Katia, please. Um, Katia may be not ready. Okay. Katia is not ready. Let's listen to Maritza. Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay, Katia and Maritza. I don't think I will live long, <laughs> but if I can get where I should love to travel, to work, why my husband? Very interesting. Yeah, traveling is always a good idea. Thank you, Katia. Maritza? I look uh, resting at home in family. We have worry. Okay, yes. Good plan. Resting at home. Okay. And with free time. Thank you. And we're going to continue later with the, the rest of opinions. And let's uh, check this. Here we have singular and plural. I need some of you to help me with the pronunciation. Oscar, please, could you help me? Yes. Sentence, sentence one and two. I want to buy this computer and we check it, this cell phone on the web page. Thank you very much. Okay, Gustavo, please, I need you to help me with the plural with sentence one and two. You have? You, you have, you have to buy the, the, the shoes. He can pay with any of that credit card. Thank you. But very nice. David, please help me with the singular uh, sentences number three and four. Okay, teacher. He's going to order the kit for her friend. The company mm -hmm. wants to buy that lift. Thank you. And what about if we listen to Maritza? Sentences three and four from plural. They purchased those cards. My coworkers sold those products. Thank you. Now we understand more about demonstrative pronouns. Ya entendemos más. Okay. I'm going to give you time. Check this. And let's see what we can do. Vamos a ver qué podemos eh, escribirles. Recuerden. This, that, those. Okay. I'm going to give you time.
Okay, my friends, do we have some volunteers? We have uh, six sentences. Okay, Teresa. Just one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to buy this table? Okay, could it be? I guess maybe tablet. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Very nice. We go now with Rosalie. And we go with David. Let's try. Um, number number two. Please. Can I see those those jeans? Sure. What size? Mm -hmm. Those jeans. Yes. Thank you. Uh, David, and then we go with Guillermo. And number six. Mm -hmm. I have to go to go to buy those the new books at the library. Mm -hmm. Those new books. Yeah. Thank you. We go with Guillermo and Maritza. Okay, the number four. Did you bring this package? Could it be? And what about if we go with Maritza and Oscar? Number three. My friend and I are interested on this makeup. Okay, could it be? Thank you. And Oscar, number five. You can add those four sweaters for the chart, to the chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, uh, but can I take two? Thank you, my friends. Okay, we continue. Let me see what do we have here. Uh, okay, we're going to have a listening part as a, as always I told you uh, try to listen carefully identify words or phrases and take notes write what you listen okay I'm going to play two times so you can have opportunity to listen uh, the information that I'm going to present Let's go. This is such a chaotic office. I don't know how anyone gets any work done. The worst part is the large table in the center of the room. There are so many things on it. I can see files and books and letters. If you want to find something in this office, it will take you so long. There is a TV in the office, but nobody is watching it. It is a probably a distraction. I think the problem with this office is that it's so small. The company that works here needs a larger building. You can't work where there's such a confusion and mess. I love the computer, though three big screens make it so easy to work and see different things. You can use the internet on one screen, email on the second, and maybe do work on the third. I would really like a computer with three screens. There's a strange lizard on the wall. Maybe it's a frog. Okay, let's listen one more time. This is such a chaotic office. I don't know how anyone gets any work done. The worst part is the large table in the center of the room. There are so many things on it. I can see files and books and letters. If you want to find something in this office, it will take you so long. There is a TV in the office, but nobody is watching it. It is a probably a distraction. I think the problem with this office is that it's so small. The company that works here needs a larger building. You can't work where there is such a confusion and mess. I love the computer, though three big screens make it so easy to work and see different things. You can use the internet on one screen, email on the second, and maybe do work on the third. I would really like a computer with three screens. There's a strange lizard on the wall. 
maybe it's a frog. Okay, my friends, uh, you can raise your hand like this. Pueden levantar así el emoji. And you tell me what you listened. We're going to start with Teresa. And okay, teacher. The person is talking about the distribu distribution of the office, I think, and the, the, the disorder, no sé, in the center of the mesa. Okay, the disorder in the center. center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's talking about the helpful to work with three monitors. Mm, okay, that's... yeah, that is it's kind of complicated, right? So he wants to, to improve the office. Thank you. Guillermo, please. What did you listen? Mm, that the uh, worst part of the of the office is the table in the center of the room. And there is a TV in the office, but and no one watched the TV. Yeah, so it's like very complicated because there is the TV turn on and nobody's watching it is like what what what's growing what's going on thank you Guillermo eh, Jose and then John okay <clears throat> okay teacher I hear that someone is speaking with someone right maybe he's talking about his company right now the words of his office right is the table in the in the middle right of the room are talking about the computer that he maybe use every day in his world, right? And then they need a, a, a huge building, maybe. It's a company, a millionaire company, something like that. Okay, right? yeah. That company or, or that office they need to, to needs... find some in yeah. those. And just, yes. And those who better some books. Mm hmm Thank you, Jose. Very good information. John, please. Some some sentences. Um yeah, please. The the company that works here is, is a large field and for mm -hmm. where there's so condition. And I love the computer, so is that all? Oh yes, yes, yeah. That's it. Very important as you mentioned. It is like a, like a chaotic um, office. And yes, it is like big, right? So here we have the text. And this is uh, such a chaotic office. I don't know how anyone gets any work. So this, this person is complaining. Complain is a verb. So this person is complaining of different characteristics in this office. He says that in the center of the room, okay, there is a large table. There are a lot of things. There are so many things on it, okay? I can see files and books. So it's very a messy office. Uh, problems with distractions. Problems with the locations of things. Okay, so I'll end the last part. There is a strange lizard on the wall, or maybe it's a frog. It's like, I don't know what is going on there. But the problems with the order in the office. Okay, let's continue. We have just 19 minutes and we say goodbye. Okay, 19 minutes now. Where do you see yourself when you are 70 years old? Okay. And maybe we can have the participation of David and then Doris. Okay, teacher. Uh, when I am 70 years old, I will be in another country, for example, Norway, enjoying a pleasant climate in a house by the sea. Yeah, sounds like a very good plan. I hope you can do it, David. Thank you. And Doris, and then we go with Jose.
Okay, maybe Dor is not available. We go with Jose and then Marvin. Okay, teacher. I I am trying. Okay. Uh, in my case, teacher, how I see you myself in my seventies, right in the future, maybe head to head right with relatives, focus, and some job maybe, like some people saying some minutes ago, right, and with another lifestyle. Yep. Thinking about the travelers. The night in that moment, I I will say that I did that I did right since then I did in my past, you know, remember me back in the day, okay. something like that. Very yeah, very nice. It's like trying to be remembered because of the things you did and with your yeah your beloved uh, parents, family, relatives, friends. Thank you, Jose. Okay. Marvin. Mm -hmm. Marvin, and then we go with uh, Gustavo. And I honestly, I had not thought about the future, but I would like to see myself at home with my family. That That's something that is very clear, at home and with family, okay? Uh, what about Gustavo and then Oscar? When I I I am seventeen year old, I sit myself tired at home, rest resting with my family. Mm home -hmm. uh -huh. and with family. Thank you, thank you very much. We go now with. To Oscar, right? Yes. Uh, well, if I so could see. have, mm -hmm. if I could have seven, 70 years old, I want to be retired and get out the weekends with my wife. We to the beach and other cities. That's really cool. Yeah, it sounds like very nice in very important that you're including your wife in your plan that that's something very nice oscar thank you for saying susie okay. and then graciela if possible okay susie okay i see myself retired and traveling for the world mm -hmm. nice i hope you can do it there are a lot of places or countries that you can visit and I don't know if Graciela is ready or Claudia. If not, if they are not ready, let's go with Rivas. What about you? Or Adi? I don't know if available. Sure. If... Yes, in Rivas. Opinion, in my opinion, I myself with a full and fulfilled life, enjoying my family and participating in projects with a natural approach that keep nice. me always active. Very important. Projects of natural approach is like, if you notice, when we are elder, we, we are 60, 70 years old, it is very common that people want to be relaxed, pleasant or calm environment pre surrounded by plants or flowers. It is very important. Okay, my friends, let's go to the last part. Here we have a conversation. What we have to do is this. We're going to practice two conversations. Number one is making a deposit. Making a deposit. And it is like this. How are you doing? This is a very common question that I always ask you at the beginning of the class, if you notice. How are you doing? Great. Thanks for asking. What can I do for you today? I would like to deposit some money. Are you depositing cash or a check? I want to deposit cash. How much are you depositing? I would like to deposit $300. What account do you want your money in? I want to deposit into my checking account. 
Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Maybe this word. What account? Account, not account, account. And here we have conversation number two. How are you? I'm fantastic. What can I help you with? I want to make a deposit today. Cash or check? It will be cash today. How much do you want to deposit? I need to deposit $300. What account will you be depositing this money into? Deposit it into my checking account. What else can I do for you today? That's all I need today. Thanks. Okay, my friends, maybe we can have these, uh, the first conversation. Uh, maybe Elias can help us because Elias was sending some image, images related to the previous activities that we have. Elias, could you send please this screenshot? Thank you, Elias. And here we have conversation number two. And see you in a couple of minutes. Los veo luego. See you in a moment.
Okay, we're going to have the last activity and we finished the class. Maybe we can have participation. Oscar, could you help me please? Who was your classmate? Yes. Your, your partner? Your partner, it was to be Elias. Okay, uh, hey. you can say my partner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your partner, okay. Elias. Okay, Elias, are you okay. okay? Can you do conversation number one, please? Okay. How are you doing? Great. Thanks for asking. Uh, what can I do you for today? I would like to deposit some money. Are you depositing cash or ch a check? I want to deposit cash. How much are you deposit? I would like to deposit $300. What account do you want your money in? I want to deposit it into my checking account. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay, okay. very nice. And we can have the participation of Daniel. Who was your classmate, Daniel? Yeah, my partners with Katie and Rivas. Okay, maybe select one. Katia, if you want, or Rivas, depends on you. Okay, I'm going to be so Katia. How Katia, are okay. you doing? Okay, great. Thank you for asking. What can I do for you today? I shall like to deposit some money. Are you depositing cash or check? I want to deposit cash. How much are you depositing? I shall like to deposit $300. What account do you want your money in? I want to deposit it in my, into my check it account. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, my friends. I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. And let's listen one by one. Mm, say hi, hello, good evening, goodbye. And what about Adi? I know if Adi is ready, but Ana Cristina, no. Elias? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Rivas? Present teacher. Perfect. Claudia Marcela. No, Daniel. Present. Perfect. David. Present teacher. Nice. <laughs> uh, Doris. I don't know if Doris is there. Okay. Present. Thank you. Doris, uh, puedes quedarte ahora con la, la sesión después de clases, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Evelyn, Graciela, I don't know. Eh, Guillermo. Okay, Jose. Present, present. Thank you, John. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. I am here. 
Bye bye. Okay, Katia and Maritza. Present and good night. Bye bye. Uh, Marvin. Present. Okay, uh, Gustavo. Present teacher, good night. Okay, Oscar and Rosalie. Present. Okay, Present. Susie and night. Teresa. Present. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. Bye bye. See you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, Doris, let me check this. Um, has tenido ciertas dificultades, eh, Doris, para conectarte. Eh, quizás un poco con el Hope Many. Sí, no, me refiero a las dificultades para conectarte a la clase. Está saliendo un poco tarde o, o ah, también sí. tiene que decir. Por, por el tráfico, la verdad es que han habido como dos días que no he podido conectar por lo mismo. Uh -huh. Este me ha afectado y, o sea, unos días que no, o sea, no llegué a la hora y también por lo de la lluvia no me ha dado buena señal. Ok. Ok, sí, entiendo, permítame. Ok. Te lo explico de esa manera. Me estaba diciendo que el how many, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, hay que tener claro que hay eh, sustantivos que son contables y no contables. Uh -huh. Ok. Much es para lo que no es contable. Many, si es para los contables. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, manzana. Se puede contar una manzana, dos manzanas, tres manzanas. Pero en el caso de los que no son contables, podría ser como el café, leche, dinero, la pasta, que necesitas eh, ciertas medidas. Por ejemplo, una taza de café, un litro de leche. ¿Ya? Y sí. así sucesivamente. Entonces, para tener una mejor noción, Tenemos acá otros ejemplos. Countables, uncountables. Entonces, todo lo que ves acá, sí se puede contar. Uh, this is just an example to to count just food. Solo tomando en cuenta comida. Uh -huh. Obviamente hay más ejemplos. Uh -huh. Y los incontables, uncountables. O sea que si quieres preguntar how many, tienes que usar los de este lado. Uh -huh. Y si quieres utilizar how much, los de este lado. ¿Vamos más o menos ahí? Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a otros ejemplos. Acá. Eh, es importante tomar en cuenta cuando utilizamos el how much acá. Porque el much acá se está, está hablando del peso. Aquí how much. Uh -huh. El costo, how much es la garantía, el how much aquí es el almacenamiento. Ahora uh -huh. aquí utilizamos how many, utilizamos las características, how many colors, how many functions, how many products. O sea, se pueden contar. Ahora vamos a hacer algo, vamos a hacer preguntas, pero vamos a utilizar el how many. Y me vas a escribir en el chat eh, cosas que crees que se pueden contar. How many cars, por ejemplo. Y el how much, cosas que tú crees que no se pueden contar. Por ejemplo, okay. smoke, cuánto humo. Ok. Escríbeme okay. un how many con una palabra que crees que se puede contar y un how much con una palabra que creas que no se puede contar. Aquí en el sí. chat. Uh -huh.
sería así. Permítame. Sí, solo que en el how many tiene que ser eh, como es naranjas, oranges. Ok. Uh -huh. Así. How many oranges. Y en el caso del azúcar, muy bien. How much sugar. Ok. Entonces, okay. eso es lo importante. Uh -huh. Tomar en cuenta lo que se puede contar y lo que no se puede contar. Casualmente el dinero sí se puede contar, pero está con la categoría del how much. Bien extraño, ¿verdad? Sí, a veces sí. eso como que me confunde porque ajá, es algo como que lo puedo hacer, pero realmente como uh -huh. lo pregunto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto, entonces eso es lo, lo curioso. Entonces cuando te van a preguntar por el costo de algo, es how much, siempre how much. Quizás de los ejemplos que son incontables y que pueden ser como conocidos son estos. Entonces, si te das cuenta, todas estas cosas no se pueden contar. Ok. Y utilizaríamos how much. How much. Uh -huh. Para todas estas cosas. Y en el otro preguntamos how much the, the cost. El precio. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Son dos maneras para preguntar. Si quieres, anótelas. Okay. How much is? Y aquí mencionas el objeto. Y la otra es how much does el objeto. Y el verbo costar. Ok. Uh -huh. Son esas dos opciones. En qué yo creo, espero ver despejado un poco las, las dudas. Sí, sí, thank you. Ok, excelente, Doris. Entonces, te veo mañana. Ok, espero que okay. te puedas conectar. Porque ahora estuviste activa al inicio, estuvo muy bien tus participaciones. Espero que podamos seguir así, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.